BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts. This is a download of Farming Today from the BBC. The presenter today, Kaz Graham. Good morning. Today, licensing for grouse shoots. It's on the cards in Scotland and it will be controversial. More on that later. First, though, this week's spending review painted a bleak picture of the economy for some years to come. But if Rishi Sunak is looking for that mythical magic money tree, well, perhaps he should be looking towards trees. There's been a 58% increase in the price of land used for commercial forestry between 2019 and 2020, according to the UK Forest Market Report, a yearly in-depth study of the UK commercial forestry and woodland investment market. The report says it's been an astonishing year. And Bruce Richardson from the forestry company Till Hill, one of the co-publishers of the study, has been telling me why. Well, we're talking about the unit price of a hectare of commercial forestry. Commercial forestry is primarily conifer and greater than 20 hectares. And there's a mixture of things happening this year. Probably the most significant is that we've seen uh, a number of very high quality properties sold this year. When you say properties, do you mean forests, bits of woodland? Uh, Forest properties, yes. They are fully commercial, uh, very good location and growing uh, improved Sitka spruce. So they are very, very productive and have generated an enormous amount of interest in the market. We have seen price inflation over a number of years now. We're based on land, land prices are going up. We look at the value of the timber, regardless of what's happening in the FTSE or anywhere else in the world market. Trees are sitting quietly on a hillside growing at three to 5% every year. We've also got a massive imbalance between supply and demand. So I think uh, our partners, John Clegg and co, were recording uh, six to eight offers on every property. So it's very competitive. Who is it that's wanting to, to buy this land? Who's buying forests and why are they buying them? It's a mixture of people. What we have seen in the last year is a lot of institutional interest. Uh, So there are new investors coming in. They're primarily interested in buying land for planting because they have carbon and wider ESG, environmental social governance objectives. And that's been a market that's around for a year or two, but it's really taken off in the last 12 months. The government has said that it's it's going to plant 30,000 hectares of trees a year to help meet its net zero emissions target by 2050. Is commercial forestry playing a big part in this? It is at the moment. Uh, Last year, I think the Forestry Commission reported that there were about 13,300 hectares planted. That's less than half, obviously, of the the target that they want to get to, of which I think about 60% was commercial forestry. Basically, we need all sorts of new woodland commercial. We need mixed woodlands. We need amenity. We need community woodlands. Everybody should be out there planting. Bruce Richardson. Well, that 